Welcome back everybody! You have successfully turned the video around to side B! We will jump back in with more first impressions of the games that are included in this month's humble choice. No clue what I'm talking about? Then turn the video around to side A for the beginning of this adventure. Otherwise, let's go! This unsponsored bit of content is brought to you by Robic's Cube. Propaganza. Oh lord, we're gonna do that again. <sighs> the Honey Bee. A tiny hero in a big world. Wow. Okay, this is Bee Simulator. It was a little hard to uh, start up. It seemed uh, that more people are having that problem, but uh, I got it to work now, so uh, great. Play some Bee Simulator. Okay. loving this music oh that's so cute why is he all dizzy we're dizzy from birth being birthed is dizzying hive sweet hive hi little one what's your name hey my name enter your b name robbie cube exactly that's my name golden markers yes please there's a golden marker right there the music is all magical wow Wow. Is there a turbo button? Is there a nitro button on this bee? We're still learning how to be a bee, so let's be chill about this. We better do what she's asking. We don't want to miss beehive. <laughs> of course, like a real bee, we collect pollen by flying through discs. That makes sense. Whoa, bee vision. Wow. <gasps> yeah, they have nitro. It's beetro. Of course it is. Yes. Bam! Beatro! Oh no, we have a audience with the queen. Hello. Wow. This whole music ordeal? I did not expect any of this. Hello? Your, your queen is... Why do you approach our queen? Because I literally Hush, was summoned. Oh, well, thanks, queen. Let my newest child approach me. Oh, she knows my name. You Robbie are XQ. Honey bee now. <gasps> Honeybee! That's Fly the one thing I wanted to do. This, you just decided that so fast? There was no sorting hat or something? I expected something more magical. I'm flying. Okay, that doesn't look like a butthole at all. Collecting so much pollen. This is a pretty big area. This is a pretty big area. Look at that. Hello. Who are you guys? Hi. <gasps> Hello. Are you alright? Oh yeah, traffic man, Tra so traffic good. this morning. Hey, you're I no match for my, my speed. No, is this the one we're following? I'm very confused. Oh no, oh no, I do not like wasps whatsoever. Not even a little bit. No, 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 we'll not see. We're gonna run away for fight, fight. What? Ow. Aha. Ow. Aha. What? I have to fight. Being a bee is really hard. Fighting with wasps. Bam. Oh, yeah. Combat with wasps, huh? These people are having a whole party over here. We got quests. Okay, so like the, the nest is like a hub world and there are different rooms here to go to as well. Can't use my beetro inside. There is a no beetro zone. Dance? That's not what I did. What? Knowledge point be collecting challenges. Blue is race, pink is dance, red is fight, orange sting the bully. Oh, so you pick up little quests and then you just do the little collecting. This is very zen. I'm a freaking bee. This is very serene. It's a very chill experience. That music though, that, that makes it. That makes it what it is. Still haven't found an orange thing, but man, if you like what you see, you can uh, go and discover that for yourself. This is something. I'm a bee. I'm a bee. I'm a bee. Yo, babe. I'm a bee. I'm a bee. I'm a bee. I want a bee. We're bees. There's more. This looks really impressive. I still have not been in a main menu. 
Maybe the editor, this guy, put in all that cool sounds, like crushing waves and very impressive, and maybe even like a mellow little bit of music in the background, you know, that's reminiscent of the actual soundtrack that I muted because copyright. They're just dropping me right in. I haven't played a racing game for ages. Oh my lord. Ah, my lord. I have not played racing games for a long time. I mean, there was some kind of introduction. I didn't even say the title of the game yet. People don't even know what we're watching. I don't even know what I'm playing right now. I don't even know if I'm recording yet. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I am the only person that is driving like this. Everybody else seems to be being super professional. I'm driving like a maniac, but I'm second somehow. I used to play a lot of racing games when I was younger. It's one of those genres that I used to play all the time. Back in the day, I used to play Need for Speed Underground. That's the one. I want a remake of Need for Speed Underground, if you ask me. Yay. That was impressive. Oh yeah, I called myself Ice Cube because it was the only nickname that had a cube in it. All right, so finally a menu. Okay, so this is Dirt 5. It's an off-road arcade racing game. They just threw me right in. Okay, there's a campaign and there are two other mods that... Ooh, Jade Dragon. That sounds cool. Let's do that. Oh, wow. You can choose cars and shit. Wow. Oh, man. I know everything about car. There are not a lot of sounds next to there being music. I made it really cool sounding for you guys because obviously I put music in. Land I hope rush. You got some sick coilovers because this land rush is Man, I have the sickest coilovers. You have never seen coilovers like my coilovers. I have super coilovers with a cape and stuff. We're in China in the morning, it's windy and rain. Wow. Whoa. Let's do this. Oh yeah. Mm. And now, like, now that we're actually in a race, is it all going to be harder now? Suddenly all these drivers are like super good. Is this the titular dirt that we are all, uh, that we were waiting for? I feel like I should be drifting or doing some cool things, but at the same time, I'm, I'm ahead of everybody else. Maybe I should look at the controls before doing anything else. Why do I always go come into these games so ill-prepared? And again, these are my first impressions, so at least I am well concentrated on playing this. It's nice that there are no other cars around me, because that really makes me... Oh, you know what I just noticed? Wow, so much dirt on my car. Oh yeah, I like to see my cars all nice and dirty, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's all about the dirt in your car. There we go. First... Yeah, that's such a cool looking car. Oh, I'm still in the car. I'm just chilling there with my helmet on. That must be really hot. It must be really humid there with all the rain. It's a racing game. Standard racing game. What else did we expect, guys? So the game actually have five chapters going on in the campaign so mode. It actually has, has a total of 75 different tracks. 75! That's actually quite a lot. Yeah, Ice Cube, man. Oh, yeah, that's the one. He's, like, real cool. Oh, yeah, this time everything is different. Why do we always start all the way in the back? Why do we always start in the back? Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Oh, my god. Oh, my lord. Balloons. That's not dangerous whatsoever. Are there difficulty settings or something? Or am I just playing on the easiest difficulty? The game just sees how you did that very first race before you even get into the freaking main menu. And then they're like, oh. Ha, this player sucks. Okay, well, I can see why they did that. Don't drive into the people. Don't drive into the people. Don't do it. Don't do it. Very tempting, though, but don't, don't do it. Bam! Got some real dirt on my car now. Oh, well. Okay. Well, oh, Lord. Wow! You saw that amazing natural phenomenon. Phenomenon. It was thunder. I do some more drifting nowadays, though, because I looked up how to do that. Still chilling in that car, man. I... You can't get me away from, from my car. Oh, man. It's nice how the signs that are on the side of the road are either commercials or reminders of what I'm playing. I know I'm playing Dirt 5, but thank you. Thank you for flashing that in my face. It's not dangerous whatsoever. Do you think that they just do that just to distract from the race or something? That they're trying to distract the race to make it extra difficult for us? As, as if it wasn't difficult enough for us with all these fireworks going on. Bam, easy, easy. Ice cube in the cubicle, man. I am unstoppable. Well, that's a racing game for you. Nice. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. This is Hammer Ting. It's still on Early Access. I'm not the biggest fan of Early Access, as nobody will know. But this is a vertical dwarven mining colony sim with RPG elements. Games these days are a little bit of everything. Um, so we're just going to start, see what happens. Welcome to the mountains. Um, dig, build quarries. That's a lot of options I've got there. Oh, it's up there. <laughs> I don't know what the date is today. 
Well, it's the first of whatever the first. Oh, there's going to be a whole thing, isn't it? Okay. Be back in a second. Oh, I like this with the light. This looks very fancy. Is that uh, our people? You. Wow, it's a lot of stats and chisel. Okay, let's just try to make a little room, see what happens. I really like this style. Oh man, whoa, whoa, that's a lot. Okay, I'm curious how the RPG elements are going to come into effect. Clicking on your characters, it seems very RPG-y with stats and health and energy and greed. Greed? Which all comes, you know, packed with all the weird words that you would expect from Dwarven civilization or whatever. Apparently, that's normal. We have arrived at Great Basnusus. Oh, contract. Dwarf under attack. Can everybody just uh, come over here and fight? Great. Well, I'm crafting something. Whoa, now I can make more. Crush it, lock it, pillar it, slab it. This is starting to give me some... Uh... Frick, what's the name of that game? Uh... Uh... Oxygen not included, that's it. This makes me think of oxygen not... Oh Lord. Yeah, this definitely now makes me think of oxygen not included. Do we have to find water? Do we have to make these people survive? Wait, so how are you doing? Are you okay? Want me to make a breeding atrium? Copper ingots. Can I make it like a copper mine? Can I make a lantern post? This is the most impressive lantern post in the world. I can't make a lantern post. I can't make anything. What? Where did they come from? Okay, a red and green slime attacking us there's a whole thing What's this can't buy or sell anything we do have a mission here here got some chunks here you go is that what you wanted no oh and then they pop up and down and then they do their thing this looks really silly and then we can go back into our mountain get our get our things how in depth is this game going to be it, it seems really cool let's check out how in depth this is and then uh look at them doing the jumping look at them doing the jumping talent tree oh look at that there you go rpg elements there we go he can now do a level up thing and you can have all these options a lot of options lack of drink lack of drink should we get water where's water is this water did i find water lack of drink lack of medicine lack of food they're going to die a horrible death because of my lack of experience Oh, okay, so yeah, this game does very much seem to be like an oxygen not included like game with a cool dwarven fantasy setting where you're going to mine things and they definitely need drinks, but I have not been paying attention as I always do with new games. So they're going to die. But that's cool. That's cool. I mean, if that is your your thing, I really like the setting of Oxygen Unincluded. I also really like that art style. This seems to be really cool. It's still in early access. Keep that in mind. But uh, if you want to give this a whirl, I'd say go for it. Next. This is The Search 2. This is a Souls-like RPG sci-fi thing. So yeah, let's jump right in. Search 2. Is this a good point to say that I haven't played the first one? This is going to be a first look from a noob. I'm the noob. <gasps> Create your character. Yes, please. That looks particularly creepy. Eyes are craters. Eyes are going in. Why does that look so weird? So there we go. I made a beautiful character. He's absolutely stunning. He looks a bit weird from the side, but look at him. He is magnificent. He is beautiful. It is... Don't look at his eyes. Don't stare at the not round eyes for some reason. It's not over. Okay, so it's two months later. We were apparently in that crash and we're having visions or thoughts about a girl. E. Okay, escape the prison. Okay, let's do that. Bam! So there we go. We're apparently already out of prison. I do have to say I had to get good. So the whole thing of the game is, is that you have to select different body parts and the blue ones, that's like the places that they can easily be hit at. They tell you this by showing you a picture of the mouse, identifying the middle mouse button. That, like that's the thing you press. But they don't really tell you that you have to scroll the mouse wheel to like do different body parts. So I was stuck for a while uh, fighting with one particular guy, which was no fun. Bam, bam. That is brutal. Are you kidding me? They, they tell me this. There's so much going on on the screen. That whole tutorialing on the wall. I've missed tutorials so many times. Get out of my face. Bam, like a professional. Okay, so, so you can also block, but I'm just not the biggest fan of blocking. He doesn't seem like a nice guy. Oh my God, he's not a nice guy. 
He is not a nice person. He is not a nice person whatsoever. Ow, ow, ow. Where are you going? Where is he going? Ow, what? I feel like I'm not certified to deal with this guy yet. What is my objective anyway? What is my objective? No. Oh, he does flames. He is flames. Oh, he, no, he's gone. Okay, well, bye. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. You are all the impressive. I have to smoochy away now. I got it. I died. Sad. I died. Okay, so this game being a Dark Souls game, all enemies are back. I knew this. Just have to get good. So while you're fighting, you build up energy, which is that blue battery bar at the bottom of the screen. And then if you're not in combat, it slowly disappears again. But right now I can only use that for my one power up, which is healing. And then if you continue in the game, you know, you can do more. What? Man, this game is difficult, difficult, lemon difficult. And if you enjoy such a thing, then you can play this. Ah, okay, look at this. So we can have some armor going on. Whenever we find that, it would be great to have some of this. I would feel a lot safer and more protected if I have more of this. We've got a different weapon now. Schematic unlocked. Okay, cool. I think I got something. Construct. Yes, I got things. Yes! Oh, yes. Do you guys think I can now take this guy? Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! It is really cool because you would imagine you just always go for the weaker parts that are not protected because then you kill them faster. So why would you go through all the trouble? But if you get the armored parts, you potentially get upgrades for yourself. No, oh no, oh no, oh no, <gasps> two, he does two, he just smashed two of my health away in one, oh no. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh my god, yes. I am Pro Master Man. Drone weapon. Sniper rifle. Yes, please. This game is something else. <gasps> Nightfall body gear. That sounds really cool. This is like a loading screen. Ah, okay. So it's not an open world. It's kind of like divided into sections. It's something else. You will sink a lot of time in this when you when you go into this though. It's not the best, but it is definitely something to set your teeth in. Jesus. I've played, I've played way too much of this. I have to continue. I have got more things to play. There's more stuff in this bundle. <gasps> what? There is so much going on. I, this dystopian world is so cool. Okay, we're gonna go. RPG elements. Yeah. Okay, so this is Swine HD or Strategic Warfare in a Nifty Environment. HD Remastered. Okay, there is a... Okay, so this game has a multiplayer. It has single player. There's a tutorial that we're not going to do. This is a real-time strategy game. Um, there are two campaigns, a rabbit campaign and a pig campaign. Oh, let's do medium. And let's do the, the pig campaign, please. I would have chosen the rabbit campaign. On July uh, 26, the Republic but... of the Pigs was overthrown. Iron Tusk seized power. The people acknowledge the events with joy and euphoria. Well, there is a story that in no way, shape or form resembles something of the real world. Oh, wow. This is just beautiful. This is, this is that top-notch quality that we're going for. <laughs> what? What? The boys will be happy to see these pictures. <laughs> the pictures? The rebels must not escape. This, the voice acting is just great. They say great things like, You are at the wrong place at the wrong time. How am I supposed to do that? Time is up. I'm on the way. That's a good idea. I am shaking in my boots. And another one bites the dust. Yeah. Again, this is absolutely not following any type of real events of the real world. This is just a silly RT RTS game. What's our mission? Mission failed. What is the mission? Okay, so everybody has a little bit of a special ability you can do. You can dig these guys in and out. You can do these things. So there are multiple enemies. There are multiple campaigns to this. I feel like if you are, if you have a big nostalgia factor for this game, then this is great. The order is being carried for me out. though, I've never played this. I've no idea what's going on, to be honest. It's funny how times have changed. I used to love these games. The I've just never played this. My Leben! Okay, that was that one was just just that one was a big a bit on the nose, wasn't it? Okay, it might heavily be implying uh, Second World War here. Anyway, onwards! Professional! No music. 
music in the menu? Okay, that's okay. I don't need music. Yakuza, 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 Yakuza. I am pronounced master. <laughs> this is Yakuza 3 remastered. 1 and 2 got a remake. This one is remastered instead. That means that it's older. That means it's going to have a little bit more jank. I think. Maybe. I don't know. It's a story driven game with brawler fighting system. It has silly mini games. I only know there is karaoke. Chapter 1. New beginnings. The story builds up really slow. I will be playing this longer so I can show you guys some action. Wow. He just runs right away, doesn't he? Man, that is a manly walk. Well, apparently we own an orphanage. As I said, I've not played any of these before except for Zero. So I have no idea where the story is going or where it came from. Oh, here we are. Some gameplay. So there's a whole story going on. You can get into that if you want to. I'll show you some highlights of uh, what the story was all about. So there you go. Where's he? He. <gasps> oh no! The deal. For that, he will roll his window up. He is so not agreeing with life. He's all like, no, My fries were cold at dinner. <gasps> not him! She made the perfect picture. She's like so that so good at drawing that she that should be your job. Oh, you just wanna have fun. That's okay. I'm gonna go and beat some people up. Let's go. Oh no, who are these tough guys, huh? Can I help you? I have searched so many questions about this guy. There's so many people in the background. Jesus. Oh, I love your name too. They all have great names. We're gonna battle now? Dance battle it up? Oh yes. Sweet thugs, huh? Come up to me for no reason. Oh yeah, tutorial complete. What? Oh my god, yes. Yes! Weapons. Weapons are a thing. It's the strongest buffy in the world. Wow, what details. He had glass in his face and everything. It certainly puts you in a in a different world, for me at least. Such a different culture and things that are normal are just so foreign to me, which is really cool. Like, I really like that. Okay, so this is like a semi-open world kind of deal. Things on the minimap, we can go to places. We might run into fights like this. It's the same guys. Oh, imposing punk. Oh, I love your sweater. All these people just run up to like, look at this fight. Is that normal? Oh, there are upgrades too. So it has some RPG elements. <laughs> RPG elements, please. Soul tech, body heat. Nice. RPG elements. Nice. Man, there are so many characters and there's so much going on. If you played the previous games, you will probably have already played this one. But if you like these type of stories, definitely go for it. It is a really badass Japanese mafia story. I came here to ask for your help, but... <laughs> Oh no, oh yeah, oh yeah. I am feeling the heat. Are you kidding me? No, no, ow, ow. <laughs> what, and now we're just chilling here with each other? Oh, chapter two. The game has 12 chapters like these, but some will be longer and some will be shorter. This is the most intense onion cutting in the world. Oh no, invisible wall. Well, definitely an older game, but uh, you know, from 2009 for the PlayStation 3 game, eh. There's a lot to this game and they're easing you into most of the things, which is nice. This definitely is a whole experience. If you have the time and you are up for something like this, go for it, because this is something cool. You have reached the end of this month's Humble Choice First Look Extravaganza. Out of all 12 games, what was your favorite? Or was there one that you really, really disliked? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm really curious what you guys think. If you like what I did here, please like the video, subscribe if you haven't yet, or as I always like to say, like, subscribe, and join the cubicle, and I will see you guys in in the next one. Bye! Now, I would say my favorite game would be Deadly Days. I really enjoyed Deadly Days. So some of the Dirt 5, I will probably jump back into that. But then there was that Elderborn thing that I really enjoyed. And I really got sucked into that Search 2. And uh, well, I, I kind of want to start with like the Yakuza series now, but then all the way in the beginning, man, there's just too much to play. Oh God, oh God.